Euler 021 here so I've decided to obviously do some content on my YouTube channel and but no better way to start it off with uh, some air cooled related stuff um, so this is my 72 Beetle called Black Widow and today we're going to be doing some exhaust work pretty much basically finished and this was the if my information serves me correctly this used to be or oh, what what they call the cowley exhaust so what it is it's a four into one equal length pipes with this detachable piece here the detachable muffler so that's what I'll be changing today I managed to find myself a replacement part but obviously it doesn't look the same here in terms of the actual box so it will be quite interesting to hear what sound it makes let me actually start up and give you guys the sound of this current exhaust at the moment even with this big ass hole in it be replacing it with this one and it's basically the same sort of pipe that comes out of the attachment here only difference is this box over here um, I see there's a Tuffix stamp on this exhaust box so what I'm going to be doing now is cleaning this up sandpaper I'm going to be spraying the exhaust muffler with this thousand years later that was a job and a half but uh, I think I'm pretty happy with the result now obviously I didn't want it to be perfect but I mean I want it to be better than what it was and it's very smooth now besides all of these these are very deep into the metal um, I think a, a machine will work better here but seeing that I'm using my hands this is good enough yeah, now I'm going to clean it up with some alcohol, prep it for spray. So let's do a quick comparison here. So this pipe here to the box is pretty much the same as this one, the old one. And as you can see, this is where the problem is on this exhaust. Made a very nice sound because of this bottle set up here. It's gonna be interesting to hear what this one sounds like once I've put it on just waiting for this paint to dry and then I will install it and fire it up
8 jade. Equipment on point. spin um, it hasn't burned off yet so looks like a pretty good product uh, then I'm obviously maybe someday I'll have to change these J pipes and maybe do the same procedure with this paint but this 4 into 1 branch has a ceramic coat on it so that's obviously never gonna come off but the J-pipes don't and they obviously in bad shape right now definitely need to wash the girl now because she is definitely dirty probably doesn't show on camera so let's give her a quick clean and use her for the day So where I left off the last time, I was busy fitting that uh, new exhaust and sprayed it with that high heat spray. Just basically gave it like about a week and a bit or two weeks driving the car around uh, just to get the exhaust up to temperature and see if that paint actually burns off. We can just have a look here. This high heat spray actually works. I mean, I've been driving the car around quite a lot these days and the paint still seems to be on so just to recap this is the spray that i used for the exhaust now the next thing on the agenda today is when i was driving the car i sort of picked up a fuel leak picked up a fuel leak right there so i'm gonna have to change this pipe today I'm not going to change these two because, I mean, if it's not itching, don't scratch it. Um, I have to pop this filter off to get to the fuel line at the back. Disconnect it from that side and disconnect it there. So the fuel lines that i got are these. So this is the damaged line. There's a cut in there. And obviously I might have tightened this clamp a bit too much when I fitted this fuel line. So I just have to be aware of that when I do this one. But yeah, I think that's where the hole is. So let's get changing.
say. You know, funny enough, this low life. There's a way to fix it, and I'm gonna show you just now how to fix all the stiffness on this car in the front. The back is fine. The back has a lot of uh, suspension travel. The front, not so much. That's why everything is just bang, bang, bang. But yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you what I have to fix that. It's quite a pricey item. That's why nobody really buys it. They rather suffer the stiffness. <laughs> But yeah, back from our drive, everything is sorted, no more leaks, and I didn't even smell any fuel while I was driving, because before, I mean, I would literally, it smells like someone is, you know when you're at the garage and someone is pouring fuel into your car, it smelled like that. Um, so now, no fuel smells, everything is hundreds, so that's sorted. Okay, yeah, so everything is sorted now. Exhaust is on, happy with that. Fuel line is on, happy with that. So the next thing for me I would like to do is change up the spark plugs. The issue now with changing spark plugs because of this twin cop setup is that I have to take these off completely. But the issue now is that I don't have that that 13 that bent one there's a bent one i've seen at the shops so i need to get in here at an angle so i need to get that bent one this one i can get to easily but this one here i cannot get to same issue on that side and that is the life of having twin cobs if it was single cob your normal one that sits here i could get to these easily but now i can't get to the ones at the back because of these babies in the way and that's the price that you pay for mods <laughs> um just gives you extra work extra work but yeah i would like to do that spark plug change at some point um oh yes let me show you the the issue with the lowered suspension in front barely any travel that's why you hear every single bang and what i have on here is an adjustable beam from flat four racing I'll post a picture up on there now so you can have a look at it. I've had it for literally the minute I bought this car, that was the first thing I did. And that was six years ago, still running strong. Um, but the issue is that when you lower these cars, I don't know if you can see it here, the wheel sort of moves forward. But to fix that, you need drop spindles. And that is what I'm about to show you now. So, this is the item, drop spindles. I uh, don't have a, an example of a, an original standard front spindle for the Beetle. The idea is, is that the normal one would be center, sits about here. So what this does, it just basically repositions the wheel, the wheel um, position and pushes it up therefore lowering the car so ideally for the front beam adjustable front beam you would want to run this with the adjustable front beam this will solve my bumping hard knock bumping so yeah that's it for today got my hands dirty pretty happy with what I've accomplished today um, thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. Out.